times, London Bar Dance meets at Cecil Sharp House in London. We dance American Contra, which is based on English folk dancing, but it's smoother and faster. Couples form up in long lines and they progress up and down, interacting with every other couple as they go. Most people choose a new partner for each dance during the evening. It's social, energetic and great fun. It's also a great way to spread aerosol viruses, so all of this came to a grinding halt in April 2020. We wanted to keep the community together, so we had to go online. Jane and I have used internet conferencing since the mid-1990s, so we knew it could be done, but none of the standard tools were designed for music. We did a bit of research, and like everyone else, we settled on Zoom, but we still had a lot to learn. Now a dance needs a band, in that's typically three musicians, and it needs a caller to tell you what to do. Most bands, of course, don't live as a single household. That's okay, we've got Zoom. Well, actually no. Zoom has latency, and that plays merry hell with musicians' heads. 30 milliseconds, just about okay. Very few Zoom sessions get as low as that. Interestingly, if you work out the sound latency across a symphony orchestra and back, you get about 60 milliseconds, and that's why they need conductors. The caller is less time critical, but not by much. Most dance music runs at about two beats a second, and the call's timed within half a beat. So this all makes live music rather hard. For the first few dances, we pre-recorded everything, with bands passing recordings around by email and laying down tracks in rotation. Later, we used Jitsi Meet or Source Connect Now as a stage circuit, uh, linking band and caller, and the caller then had to feed the mix into Zoom. That works okay if the band are all in one place, uh, but callers need an awful lot of equipment to make it all work. Zoom wasn't designed for this, so we need some workarounds. It has improved over the past year, but each version's different in multiple ways, so upgrades are a bit of a mixed blessing. Home networks can be a problem too, so we spend a fair amount of time helping to diagnose and fix problems. We got callers to invent dances that people could do on their own at home and we asked people to leave their cameras on so that they could see each other dancing. It's not the real thing, but for a lot of people, this is the best they're going to get for a long time. We decided that three hours of dancing at home wouldn't work, so we plan each event to last about 90 minutes. We have six dances interleave with other things. So we do a quiz, we interview the band, we have an interval with Zoom breakout rooms, and we make a video each month. We send out some music and a set of instructions for a dance, and we ask people to make a short video of themselves. We usually get about 15 to 20 contributions, and it's my job to cut them together into a composite. The first time we did this, we just said waltz, and while we waited for reactions, I had about five days to find a video editing program and to learn how to use it. I chose KDN Live, which is part of the Linux KDE desktop project, but it's also available for other platforms. It's completely free and it's very capable. KDN Live is a non-linear video editor, so the first job is to collect clips into the project bin. You then mark the bits that you want to use and drag them into the timeline. You can create title slides, including pictures, text, what have you, and you can apply transitions and special effects. This one's a fade, and we can do silly things as well. Once you're happy with your edits, you can hit render and make a cup of tea while Melt processes the final video. This can take quite a while. In fact, the whole process is very time consuming. Uh, I find it takes two or three days to edit a five minute video. Most of our videos end up on YouTube uh, in the London Barn Dance channel. This one's no exception, so you can go and find it there. So that's the story of how London Barn Dance became a television station. It's been great fun and we've learned a lot. 
but it is very time consuming. Normally, to organize a three hour dance takes about a day, maybe less. To organize an hour and a half online uh, is one to two weeks. So we'll be very pleased to go back to physical dancing. I'll leave you with one of our videos. Cheers. Thank you.